Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. So in this video, I'm going to do, tell you how to configure your fingerprint and what are the uses of a fingerprint in the Chiku Q Terra. How can you use it in the best way possible? So let's get started. First, we will uh, I will show you the fingerprint sensor. It is a circular one. It works in all 360 direction and it's pretty sensitive. Let me just show it to you. Now I will show you how to configure it. Go to settings, fingerprint, fingerprint management. So first time when you buy the phone, it will ask you to enter a PIN password. Then it will ask you for your phone number, an alternate phone number which you know you want uh, to be contacted on in case somebody tries to unlock your phone. So I have already done that. I will just show it to you how what the process is of uh, putting a new fingerprint so all you do is add finger you cannot repeat a uh, finger so this one is done so I don't know which one yeah this one is not done so you have to rot rotate your finger at different points to register it it registers pretty fast and I've seen when you keep using a finger again and again, it becomes more sensitive and it keeps on, uh, you know, understanding the finger better and becomes more accurate. So it does not miss a fingerprint. So that's how you uh, configure or add a new fingerprint. So the basic thing what you can do is unlock the phone. Next, what you can do is you have to go into the settings of the fingerprint again you can use it to take photos with the camera i'll show you how that works you can answer a phone call with the fingerprint sensor and i have switched on you can record and call but i have switched on auto call recording which this phone already has so it records every call but in case if that feature is switched off you can just press the sensor and it will start recording that call let me show you how the camera works with the fingerprint So let's see. I'm gonna take a pick, pick of this. I'm gonna to touch it instantly. Same works with the front facing camera. Okay. Now let's go for one more thing which this fingerprint sensor is used for. So, first time when you get the phone you will go into system apps so there will be an icon here called privacy so once you open that icon again it's going to ask you uh, to put a pen, uh, password and then or it, already the phone's password whatever is there it will ask you to enter that then it will ask you to enter one more fingerprint of a unique finger which will which you will not use for unlocking the phone or any other things so you can register one finger i have registered this one then it is a privacy app so it will have a menu option saying images apps and everything whatever you select through that it will encrypt the data and it will make it disappear from anywhere else in the phone and it will open only when you press that finger on the fingerprint the app will open automatically so let me show it to you when i do that the privacy app will open up this is the pri privacy space sorry so i have deactivated it right now let me show it to you this is what the app looks like so you have an option of hiding contacts sms's images videos and apps so let's hide some apps okay so you did whatsapp dropbox amazon flipkart add to private that's it method to access is you can put a desktop icon I will make it fingerprint that's how you register a fingerprint dedicated for this the privacy app see now the icon has disappeared now when I take this finger and touch it here it will open the privacy space and the apps are over here 
this is the only way to use these apps my whatsapp icon was over here it has disappeared okay now let's see some images can we hide some images i'm going to hide these two these two images in the privacy app you have to go to the app again to open it you have to press this immediately it opens up go to images private photos is a pre-made folder then you can go to camera i will hide these two pics let's hide all of them it says encrypting that's it press the home button know where you can find those apps let's see all those are gone right press the fingerprint privacy app opens up the photos are over here i really love this feature you can hide so many things that sometimes you don't want people to see your private stuff which none of my samsung phones have this is a really good uh, implementation of the fingerprint sensor what is the use of it if you cannot use it for you know such things it is for security and privacy right so guys that, that was uh, in depth looked at, look at the fingerprint sensor of the chiku terra and what you can use it for and how to use it and how accurate is it so if i try to unlock uh, with this finger which is registered for the privacy app it will directly open from a locked phone to the privacy app but with another finger it will open unlock the phone so let me just unhide my whatsapp sorry. right now it is edit okay so i'll remove all of these unlock privacy that's it all the apps are gone so thanks for watching this video and please share, subscribe and like the video. I will try to make better videos about the Chiku Terra in the coming few days. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.